The 53rd annual Cincinnati Model Train and Trade Show happened last weekend at Lakota High School in southwestern Ohio. And after I walked around for a few hours, I checked out some layouts and went through quite a few vendors before I found four items that I really wanted to buy and they turned out to be very good bargains. Another neat thing about the train show is that most of the sellers will let you take their products over to a test track. And when I took this locomotive to the test track, it operated perfectly. Forward, neutral, reverse, they all worked very well. And after looking at the graphics and the paint on this, it's in such good shape. I'm not going to touch it other than maybe a little cleaning up. It's going to stay just the way you see it here and uh, just be a new part of my collection. This Santa Fe Alco unit is a different story though. I like it because on the side you can see it was made in 1957. It's still in its original condition. Um, that's pretty cool that it survived all this time, but the silver paint on the roof has worn through from people's hands, picking it up off the track, placing it on the track, and I'm afraid this guy is a good candidate for a repaint. Just like this boxcar from 1982, this is one of the cheapest looking offerings I've ever seen from Lionel. I think their quality was very different in 1982. And this boxcar is just crying out to be reimagined in some new rail line, some new paint scheme new decals, the whole nine yards. This one is a very clear candidate for some work in the future. The next time you see this boxcar, I hope it looks better than it does now. I'm thinking about maybe doing a paint scheme to go along with the Holiday RS3 behind it. The last thing I bought at the train show the last weekend was this DC Transformer. It's not made by Lionel. It was the price tag says three bucks, but I bundled it with that Alco. So I got the two of them together for $21. This is a DC transformer, and I have an older Lionel locomotive that only runs on DC current. So that's why I bought the transformer. And the more I look at this Alco engine, the less I want to change it. When I was a kid, I wanted one of these Santa Fe Alcos with the war bonnet paint scheme. Um, I never had one. This is my first Santa Fe Alco. It's pretty neat. It's how old? 1957? It's over 60 years old, and I'm tempted to just leave it the way it is. I haven't made up my mind yet, so I'll do the boxcar first, and maybe this guy will just stay as you see it. I'm not sure. Sometimes if I let things go to the back burner for a while, a solution or a clear path shows itself and time will tell. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.